Every day brings new light to help us on our way. Always taking my breath, whether sun or rain. The wind will carry us over that horizon we see. Is getting closer. Hello, it's Michelle from Hiking Gal Reno. This is video five in the series of the van build, and you'll notice there's palm trees behind me because I'm coming to you this time from Arizona. How did I get here? That's a really good question. This is the point where you decide that either I'm really determined or I'm really crazy. <laughs> Hopefully you will decide that I'm really determined and maybe just a little bit crazy. Uh, so to update you on where we're at, I got the van. We started doing some work on it. I was thinking that I could either gain some inches with the lining being gone, but then the frame was in the way. Or I was thinking the floor, like it was, I was, I was hoping it was a platform floor and I'd get some inches there neither one so the current situation with the van right now is i'm the only one that can stand up in it and i would and even with me standing up in it it still feels claustrophobic because it's just maybe like an inch or two above my head so i've been looking uh, for different options of what i could do and i've had a lot of pushback um, for some of my crazy ideas uh, my first idea, of course, was to get a new roof. <laughs> and I was in contact with a popular Southern California fiberglass company that makes new roofs for vans. And they said they couldn't do it. They said I didn't have enough support on the sides of the roof, uh, once it, on the frame, once it was taken out, blah, 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 blah. And I went back and forth with them. And they said no. <sighs> so then... I was thinking, well, I had someone say, you know what, just build out your van the way it is, uh, do the minimal work, sell it, and get a different van, one that's tall enough. Well, I, I'm invested in this van, so that didn't seem like a viable option. And then I had one team of brothers, the Colcord brothers, so the Colcord brothers told me there is a thing that was a nationwide like wrecking yard search and you could search parts all across the country and you know you might find something in Florida or you might find something in Missouri. So we did that and we found a couple of options but one that was an identical match to my van just happened to be here in Phoenix, Arizona. Which was great for me because I come here quite a bit. Uh, my best friend lives here and her and her partner are super supportive, and so it was a great opportunity to come back to Arizona. So that's how I wound up here. I <laughs> loaded up my dog and myself and my empty van and my hammock again. I had my hammock, and we came to Arizona to get this roof switched out. So this video details all of that, and you be the judge crazy or determined. Good morning. So I am currently driving to see about the new roof. Very exciting. I'm going to flip this around so you can. We made it to Arizona. Um, it didn't take too long. From Reno, it's actually a 13 hour drive. Um, but yeah, on our way, hopefully this roof will work and we can figure out, um, still trying to figure out how I'm going to get the old roof on and the old roof off, but um, we'll see.
Sorry, get your ball. She did it! Hi there. It is four o'clock on a Sunday, and we're finishing the roof, so it's been crazy. Um, wrecking yard. It's um, 109, so this is huh, where I've been the last three hours. And these guys are flipping amazing. So here they go. Oh, they're gonna put it on right now. Let's see if it fits. Please, please. There it goes. Ta-da! I think they're done. Woohoo! So we got the roof done. It took three hours. I don't know if you can hear me because everything is rattling. It didn't fit flush. Um, that's gonna the fit flush part is gonna have to happen when we're back in Reno. So right now. We just have it strapped on. You can see the straps. I've got to somehow um, get it. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I have to somehow get the front of it, the front roof part up here. I have to make um, it secure so I can drive, you know, on the freeway going like 75 miles an hour. Um, right now everything's rattled except for that I'm on a stop sign. And I'll show you, like we got, a hole because I need to put new everything, new uh, window there, and it's a different van. But I got new doors, no more squeaking from the doors, which is gonna be cool once I get everything else fixed. Anyways, gonna head home, secure it more, eat something, shower, and then I'll be on the road back to Reno. This has been a very crazy day. And here we go. Gonna go in the backyard, working on the van. So we're at Darren's house. My van is in the shop and he's actually going to take out the roll bar today for us and then we're going to try and do some other little fixes while we're here. I'm so happy. Yay! This is me trying to get off all the styrofoam off the roof. Last night Hunter was helping me and today I'm working on it. He's going to be by later. So this is what we got done so far. I'm going to flip the camera. So that whole side. There we go. That's better. So you got that side done for cabinets. We've also got this whole side done for cabinets. Well, not whole, we gotta get the top and everything. And then um, starting up on the top. You can see I did a few spaces just trying to figure it out. Anyways, this progress so far. Watch this. This is how smart people do it. Holy crap, look at this huge piece. Uh, this is awesome. Woohoo! Let's see it. Nice!
breathing it, breathing this fiberglass is nasty. Isn't that awesome? It is nasty. Whoo! Get big fiberglass boogers. <laughs> That's always fun. Every day brings new light to help us on our way. Always taking my breath, whether sun or rain. The wind will carry us over that horizon.